Hey everyone, this is Josh from before. I'm here with McFarlane Toys, DC Multiverse, Batman Duke Thomas from Tales of the Dark Multiverse, I believe. This is Duke Thomas from a corner of the Dark Multiverse where the Dark Knights had taken over. I think he was the last one left. I think he had still been the signal at some point in this universe. I don't, you know, it doesn't matter. He showed up for all of two seconds. I'm getting this guy not because uh, it's the coolest Duke Thomas figure they've ever made, but just because this is a super rad. Dark Knight's Metal, Death Metal design. I, this guy's a heifer in the box. I can tell already. I can't wait to get him out of here. I think we're just going to dive right in, right? Okay, well, we're getting him out here. You know I got to hit you guys with the Kickstarter update. We are closing in on 150% funded. We're completely sold out of the toy tier. 25 fans of this channel are going to be getting a random multiverse figure from my collection with a signed hockey puck stand, but I have just added one final wallet buster shelf raider tier. One person is gonna have the chance to own my entire Dark Knights team right here. Eight figures and some of these are not easy to get at this point, so it's a pretty good chance to beef up your shelf in one go. So do check it out. As always, thank you. Thank you so much, folks, for your support. You're really blowing my mind right now. Blowing the stretch goals out of the water. At this point, everyone that gets a physical copy of the book is getting two stickers and three trading cards. We're less than 60 bucks away from unlocking that fourth and final trading card. Please check it out if you haven't already. And now let's look at this fig. Like I said, he is hefty. He's got some weight to him. Very stocky, barrel-chested design. Man, so much cool stuff to look at on this dude that I'm uh, not sure where to even start. Maybe this cave in the back that looks very heavy and looks leather, but it also has these ridges that kind of feel like a bat's wing. That's pretty cool. Another very unique cape that has some character, some story to it. These ridges are sticking up off the back. A little extra paint would definitely be helping those. This is like a rubbery stuff. It's kind of plugged in there. Now looking at the front here, I can't help but think... I know it's not really the same thing, but I can't help whenever I look at this guy, I think of the mouth of Sauron. I don't know why, because his, obviously here, his face is entirely covered with what looks like bone. I think maybe because this looks like a giant tooth, kind of, because of the bone texture. It's a shame there's not more paint on that. On the back of the box, they boosted that contrast big time, and it really brings out that bone texture. But if you hit this guy with some extra paint, it's really going to pop. Like, I love the white trim on the pouches on his belt. The buckle here feels like it has a little bit of extra love. And then everything else has all these fantastic little extra bits of deech that would be really improved by some extra paint. Uh, of course, we're used to that story by this point. I really love the way the fins look like they're peeking out from where the arm has been wrapped kind of this bracer sort of thing. Really fun. Again, more details down here. Uh, that would be vastly improved by literally any amount of paint. Uh, we'll see if he moves much. I'm not expecting it to, just because he's kind of a hefty bruiser, but actually, a lot of the side to side there on the head. Up and down, obviously he's got kind of a big, bigger chunky head, but he's actually can look up a decent amount. I really love the way this dude looks. He feels like that sort of heavy metal. 2000 AD. Kind of wackiness. So the torso here is a huge surprise. It looks like it's going to have no articulation, but actually it does, and it holds it pretty well too. A little separation there, but even forward... It's all pretty rubbery under there, and it actually holds. That's The thing is that it actually, so it doesn't go forward very much, but the fact that it does actually hold there when you do it, and it's not just this rubber pushing against other rubber and pushing it back up into the upright position. That's really nice. I mean, again, not, not the biggest range in the world, but the fact that a big, hefty, chunky guy like this has that, that's pretty good. And surprisingly high kicks, given the cut of his uh, 
pelvis here. Maybe not back so much, but. He's gonna be able to move around a little bit. Dub's knees. All joint ankles, they're not really sculpted, but they are flat on the side instead of just perfectly round. Deech on the bottom of the feet. Nice little touch. Of course, more fun texture work throughout here. Wonderful details on the soft rubber material. The full package, you know, of course, a little paint's missing, but this guy is really cool. Got a very memorable silhouette. He's going to stand out from just kind of the standard average size spandex type hero. Rad. Loving this dude. As a Duke Thomas figure, uh, yeah, I don't know, whatever. But just as a cool looking dude, hell yeah. And I love that he comes with another instrument. We got this um, Plastic Man guitar with the death metal bats a while back. I actually preferred putting this guy with the death metal Superman. I think he had better hands for it. This, uh, this is pretty rad. It feels like it has a little bit more paint. It, again, it could still use even more, just a wash to bring out some of these nicks on the uh, the metal, the silver pieces. You bring out the strings, the frets, you could really have a field day and make this look excellent. And he's only got the one open hand, and it's quite, so he's going to have to hold the neck like this, and then his other hand is a fist, so it's going to, if he's playing this, yeah, the fist will definitely play as the strumming hand. I like I like the guitar a lot. I'll probably have this guy pose with the guitar and find somewhere to incorporate the other one as well. A full band would be amazing, man. If we could get a full drum kit, a seven inch death metal drum kit. Yeah, dude, seriously, that'd be fantastic. So like I said earlier, I am going to be parting with my Dark Knights, but my death metal stuff is going nowhere. This right here, this lineup, still represents some of my favorite stuff from the multiverse line to date. So again, I like giving Superman this guitar because I think his hands work really great for that noodling look, and then it allows Batman to stay up on his hog like a bat out of hell. But we really like need a, we need a mic stand for Wonder Woman and then we need a drum kit. We could put Robin Crow back there or something like that. So that's Dark Multiverse Duke Thomas. It's a big yes for me. I love the dark medieval fantasy look. Uh, I think it's really rocking. Of course, like I said, the unique sort of body shape, this barrel chested, big bruiser, beefy dude, freaking rocks, delivering some Tolkien-esque vibes as far as I'm concerned. And just, yeah, he, he rocks, dude. He rocks twice over because he literally has a guitar. Uh, that's awesome. All right, gang, this one's a keeper for me. As always, thank you to everyone that has been sharing and supporting my comic book Kickstarter. It is truly like my head is spinning, guys. And there's still time to get on board. More than a week left still. So go check it out, folks. I will talk to you all very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.